Hi, and welcome to episode six of Understanding Darktable. Today, we're just gonna look at the select module in the light table view. This will be fairly short and sweet. I've got here the five images that I shot last week out in my garden, just as some test shots for these videos. We can see in the select module, there's just five buttons. Select all, which will, as the name suggests, select all the images you've currently got in the grid view. One click and there they are all selected. Select none, as you would imagine, will deselect all of the images. So even if I had two images selected, select none, we'll just deselect those. Invert the selection will do exactly that. If I've got those last two images selected and I invert the selection, those two images become deselected and the other three images get selected. Now obviously that's a lot more work than it needs to be when you're only working with five images, but if you're working with hundreds of images or thousands of images, that's a much quicker way of inverting your selection. If we want to use the select film roll option, you would simply select any one image from the group of images you imported at a given time. So in this case, all five of these images were imported at the same time. So if I select one of those images and then click on select film roll, select all images which are in the same film roll as the selected image or images. So in this case, all five images will get selected because they were all imported at the same time, as we can see. And then we've got select untouched. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm simply going to remove these images from the database for now, and then I'm going to re-import them. So I'll go remove. I'm then going to jump over to my test shots folder. And I'm just going to get rid of the first, third, fourth, and fifth sidecar files. And I'm just going to keep that second one and you'll see why in a sec. So now I will re-import that folder. And those images come in. We can see that this second image is still cropped square as I had it. So Darktable has read that from the XMP file that was already in the folder. However, it's had to recreate the other XMP files for the other four images because those XMP files weren't there. So as far as Darktable is concerned, the first, third, fourth, and fifth images have never been seen before and therefore are considered untouched. So if we select untouched, we should get the first, third, fourth, and fifth images selected and the second image left unselected. Let's try that. And there you go. All right, that's it for the select module. Like I said, pretty short and sweet. See you in the next one.